Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix DLN file missing error in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Step 1. Restore setup.dll file from the recycle bin. For this, open the recycle bin, locate the file, right click on it and just simply choose the restore option. Note that I am showing these steps on some random files so that you can have a better understanding. Step 2. Perform a system restore. For this, type create a restore point on Windows search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. After that, it will prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. But if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will automatically display a recommended date for restoration. Then, just simply click finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Step 3. Reinstall the application. For this, open the control panel and select programs and features to uninstall the program. Next, choose the program, then perform a right click and just simply click on the uninstall option. Step 4. Try updating your windows. For this, open settings using window plus i hotkeys. After that, choose window updates from the left panel. Then, click on the check for updates option. Wait until window download all the available updates. Once done, reboot the system and check for the problem. Step 5. Fresh installation of windows. For this, restart your computer after inserting the installation disk. When the computer boots into BIOS, Press a certain key, often F2 or F11, to change the boot order so that the computer boots from the installation disk. Then when the page has loaded, click install now and then proceed as directed to finish the procedure. Step 6. Run startup repair. For this, using a bootable device or force restart, boot your Windows 10 or 11 to Window RE, navigate to troubleshoot, click on advanced and just simply click on startup repair. So this was it for the video guys, we hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry, just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.